Look at that. He ran over there to it. He got it. Down there deep, old buddy. Little bitty spotted bass. He ain't too little. He is little. Forward facing sonar got him. There's a bunch of them down there. That's them golden spots. Drop shot. All right guys, we're out here today. It's been a little bit tough. Basically middle of winter time, we're on a really deep clear reservoir with some standing timber in it. And basically the way I've been targeting, uh, targeting spot spotted bass mostly, been targeting them with a drop shot. Um, basically fishing in you know 30 to 60 foot of water. I like to use a half ounce drop shot weight. It gets you down there pretty quick with the fish being near the bottom. Uh, this is a half ounce arc tungsten drop shot weight. Uh, the cylinder is a, it will get you to the bottom a lot faster than the uh, teardrop shape. Um, I like the teardrop if I'm fishing around more brush piles uh, a little bit shallower. I'm not a fan of the clip. Um, so I do bend it out so I can actually tie a knot on it. Um, some people like the clip and just kind of slide it in there. It's a lot faster, um, but I tend to lose a little more weight, a few more weights like that. So I'll open it up a little bit and actually tie a small knot on there to, you know, if fish comes up jumping in, especially with a small mouth. Spotted bass aren't too bad about it, but small mouth, you'll lose a lot of weights with them jumping and stuff. Uh, for a hook, I've got a two walt. It's a gamagatsu. It's a basically it's a small worm hook. Uh, it's got a little tin keeper on it that keeps that worm on there. The reason I like this particular hook for drop shotting Texas rigging is you can see how far the keeper is down the shank of the hook. What's going to happen is is a lot of times with those smaller drop shot hooks with a keeper is the keeper's real close to the eye so your bait will be all hung up on the line like this to where with this you can push it on down the eye of the hook's going to be sticking out so it's not going to impede the action of the worm so your worm's going to look a lot more natural uh, next off is the gap the gap the hook gap on this particular hook is really big it's not which by that i mean the tip of this hook is above the eye of the hook you know more than a regular um hooks on the market that I've used before. Just gonna rig it like you would any type of typical Texas rig. And you can see that gap um, from your worm. So when he does bite, you're gonna have all that open space right there to get that fish hooked and your worm not get in the way of that. Uh, I like this setup, Texas rigging it, cause it's, there is some timber down there and you can kind of come through it and not get hung up. Um, basically just a, I got a shad colored worm now. Any type of morning dawn color is really good. Um, from a setup wise, I've got it on a seven pound Sunline shooter fluorocarbon. That's what I like on a leader line. Uh, gone to a 12 pound SX1 Sunline braid. Uh, Art reinforcer rod, it's a 610 medium light. It's the one I throw my drop shot all the time. Uh, 2000 series spinning reel. That's basically the setup we're doing. Just looking around here on forward facing sonar in this deep timber and uh, catching a few. Feels heavy. He ain't so big, but he's a fish. Deep water spot. 44 foot. That's what I was talking about, that hook gap. I mean, see, that's, you can't ask for nothing better. See, the hook, the worm's wadded up on the hook, but you've got so much of a gap with that gum and got so there's enough of a gap that I was able to get a good hook penetration through there. And I mean, that fish wouldn't come off in, in years. And that's how, that's exactly what you want it to do right there. Fat little pretty looking spot. Thought the way they ran at it, I had to have got it. That's a pretty good one, I think.
but yes, I was. <laughs> I know it was doing weird, like. It ain't a good one, but. Fat spot. Pretty fish. Lake Lanier spotted bass, two and a quarter probably. Drop shot, zoom trick worm, or Z3 worm. Fat little pretty looking spot.